So hey everyone, this is Swapnil from ACM Student Chapter, IIT ASM Dhanbad and today we will be discussing the problem D, two divisors of the educational code forces round 89 which is rated for division 2. So let's get started with the problem statement. You are given n integers a1, a2 up to an and for each ai find two divisors d1 which is greater than 1 and d2 which is greater than 1 such that the greatest common divisors of d1 plus d2 with that particular ai will be 1 okay so we have to find two divisors of ai such that the sum of those divisors will be co prime with that particular number okay so let's get started with the explanation okay so this is the explanation part so let's say my given a is um, prime factorized into some number of prime numbers p1 to the power k1 into p2 to the power k2 into p3 to the power k3 up to up to pm to the power km such that pi uh, the uh, set of pi are the prime numbers and it is in the ascending order i mean the p1 is the smallest prime number in the prime factorization so in other words what is our task basically our task is to find d1 d2 such that d1 plus d2 is never divisible by any of these prime numbers if we want the GCD of D1 plus D2 comma A equals to 1. So what we have to do? We have to make these two numbers co-prime. For that we have to find D1 plus D2 in such a way that it is not divisible by any of the prime numbers in the prime factorization of A. So um, my claim is or my funda is I'll set D1 as the smallest prime factor to the power K1 times this one here and I'll set D2 as the rest of the number as in P to the power K2 into P3 to the power K3 up to up to PM to the power KM which is nothing but A by D1 so this sum D1 plus D2 this sum will never be divisible by any of the pi. I show it to you here that d1 plus d2 is not divisible by p1 because of this factor because this d2 is not divisible by p1 and d1 plus d2 this sum is on the other hand also not divisible by any of the prime numbers p2 to pm pj's since d1 factor is not divisible by them because d1 is not divisible by any of the prime numbers p2 p3 up to up to pm so gotcha we got our pair but caution we when a has only one prime factor then we cannot have d1 and d2 so in this case our answer will be minus one and minus one okay so So let's get started with the coding part. I'll just copy my template. Okay. So basically, to find the smallest prime factor or uh, in the prime factorization of uh, a number, I'll use the basic sieve template. And if you don't know about sieve, then I'll suggest you to watch some video on sieve or sooner. I'll make a video on my template where I'll explain the sieve operations. So I'll just copy this whole template and I'll just uh, give you the overview of this template. The vector bool is prime function is uh, is prime uh, a vector is a vector is a boolean type vector which uh, which which stores boolean values for every number and uh, shows that if that number that particular number is prime or not so this is the basic implementation of uh, sieve you can refer to 
any of the YouTube video or uh, CP algorithm for this. So I'll get started with the coding part of my problem. So and I'll take the input and let's make a vector pair of uh, answers for implementing the answer I have taken the particular AI and in my variable P I'll store the smallest factor S factor A the smallest factor is uh, a vector which stores the smallest factor for a particular number and let's see I'll make a copy of A and D1 will be my P and D2 let's D1 will uh, okay first I'll initialize D1 with 1 and while X mod p equals equals 0 I'll divide x by p and I'll just multiply d1 by p okay and here my d2 will be a by d1 as shown in the explanation part and if both of these numbers are greater than 1 and uh, the GCD of these two GCD of D1 and D2 is equals equals 1 I'll just push back PB is a, a simple macro used for the pushback operation of the vector and I'll push back my two pairs d1 and d2 and if this is not the case then I'll push back a pair of minus 1 ok gotcha now I'll just output first of all the first pair the pair of d1 the set of d1s and next line okay so I think that is pretty much it so let's check if this works for the sample test cases I'll just copy the sample test cases over here okay so yeah for 6 it is giving 2 and 3 so for 6 it works and so let's just submit this one okay I'll choose the file test.cpp okay we got an AC so thank you guys for watching this video and keep sharing this video with your friends thank you